Hi, I'm Liz Robertson. I'm the pastoral care worker at Greenford Baptist Church. And today, what I thought we could do is have something called a spiritual health check. It's like a spiritual body scan. So we start thinking about our minds. We ask God to come and fill us afresh, to cleanse us of all wrong thinking. What thoughts dominate our thinking and our minds and shape our thoughts? Where do our thoughts take us on a daily basis? Perhaps we need the refreshment of the Holy Spirit to redirect our, our, our focus, our thinking. Bring our minds before the Lord. Ask him to forgive us of any wrong thinking and attitude and ask him to help us focus our thoughts primarily on him. We move on to our eyes and ears. What is it that we look at? What have we been watching? What have we been reading? What do we fill our eyes with? What do we listen to? What do we pay attention to? Let's ask God to again help us to listen for his voice, to look for what he wants us to be looking at and reading and taking in. And then our mouths, what is it that we have been speaking out? What is it that we have been talking about? Do we use our words to encourage and build up? Do we praise God? Do we express our love and our praise and worship to him? We don't meet corporately, physically, but we have the online worship. We can sing um, worship and give adoration there, but also individually in our own homes, wherever we find ourselves. And uh, as I've said previously, reading scripture out loud and uh, declaring the truth of scripture with our mouths is a very powerful tool. Our hearts, what are our passions? Where have we been investing our energy and our passions at this time? Do we feel battle weary? Do we need a refreshment in our heart? Draw near to God and allow his love to fill us afresh. Maybe we feel we are distanced from God at this time and our hearts feel cold. Ask him to bring the warmth of his spirit back into our hearts that we can receive again his love and in turn love him back. And our bodies, our arms, our legs, our feet, our hands, what we physically do, we are, as Christians, we are to serve the Lord and serve each other. And we are gifted, each of us differently. Perhaps we need to ask him afresh, where are my gifts? What is it that I am to be doing physically at this time? Sometimes it helps to look at the things that really give us energy and enthusiasm and we light up when we think about the things that we've done previously that have 
um, left us feeling encouraged and built up and um, valued. Those are the things that God has given us um, and to consider how we are gifted and what God would want us to do with those gifts. So as we stand or sit in his presence now, having scanned the different areas of our bodies and what they represent in our relationship with the Lord, ask him to fill you afresh in every area with his Holy Spirit, that you would know his strengthening and refreshment at this time. And perhaps for those of us who are feeling battle weary, to be strengthened again by his spirit. I want to read a verse of scripture that has been very helpful for me at this time. It's Romans 15 verse 13 and it's I'm reading from the Passion Translation. I'm going to read this as a prayer over you. Now may God, the inspiration and fountain of hope, fill you to overflowing with uncontainable joy and perfect peace as you trust in him. And may the power of the Holy Spirit continually surround your life with his superabundance until you radiate with hope. God bless you.